Hello, everybody. Uh, I wanted to start off by saying thank you to Dr. Mays for your guidance throughout the internship. And thank you to Derek and the CCE for the support in doing it. So now that we already, already explained what the health wagon was, so I will not go into explaining it again, and I will just jump into my moment. So prior to heading out to Wise, Virginia, which is a town of less than 3,000 people where the health wagon is located, I met with Dr. Mays to talk about some of the things that I would be seeing and what I should prepare myself for throughout the internship. He warned me that the issues I would see would be far more complex than they seem. It's a lot more complicated than just bringing more doctors to, air, to the area or expanding Medicaid so that everyone has access to insurance. While I knew his words were true, I did not truly really understand what I was, he was talking about until I was working on the Health Wagon 3 mobile unit and I had an encounter with a patient that perfectly encapsulated the problems that Dr. Mays and I had talked about. So the mobile unit had driven about 30 minutes to an adjacent small town, and we were parked in the parking lot of a grocery store. I was initially skeptical that this was the best place for the mobile unit, as the grocery store, the parking lot of a grocery store does not inspire the idea of quality health care, but alas, they were the experts, not me. Towards the end of the day, a patient walked in looking to get some blood drawn and for a physical. At the end of his visit, he started talking about how far he had driven to get here. He told me that he had driven an hour and a half to get here because he was uninsured and did not have any access to health care in the town he was from. I couldn't help but feel frustrated over the fact that this man had to resort to getting health care from a bus in a grocery store parking lot in a country that pours more money into its health care system than most countries in the global However, after telling me how far he'd driven to get here and how the health wagon was his only source of health care in this area, he proceeded to tell me how he was incredibly opposed to the, Amer the Affordable Care Act and the idea of mandatory health insurance. He told me it was against this country and everything it stands for, and he was very against all the politicians that seemed to be advocating for, towards everything that I thought would be helping him. As he told me this, I couldn't help but contrast what he was saying with his current situation and wondered if he too recognized the irony in it. It was in that moment that I remembered Dr. Mays' words about how the complexities run a lot deeper than the simple solutions that might be able to fix this. I listened carefully to the words of this man to try and understand his perspective a little bit better, realizing that these problems can only be solved if they're first understood from the perspectives of the people that impact them the most. While my internship did not enlighten me on how we can fix this problem, they certainly did enlighten me on all of the complexities that we're facing. So with that, I hope to carry that into my career in the future, and hopefully with all of the bright minds in this room, we can work towards a solution in the future.